There have been many people over the years who have left their mark on the world of the internet. One of those people is Conald Eugene Peterson. Now you listeners may have never heard of Conald, but he is in fact one of the most prolific eccentrics on YouTube that has ever existed. He has gone by many names and has been making hundreds of videos across countless YouTube channels. Since the beginning of the website, his activities of cross-country adventures date as far back as 2002. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. Let me introduce you to Conald Eugene Peterson, better known as Fed Smoker, or Herc as he calls himself. I'll let you Americans know there is a God. There's no Jesus in this book. I've read it. So, wing! <laughs> I am the greatest healer in all mankind. I am Dr. Herc Sayu. Deal with He's out of your life. Daddy, I'm big daddy. You guys are in for a wild ride with this one. You know what could really make this viewing experience even more fun? Today's sponsor! This video is sponsored by Vans Global. Vans Global is an American-based, let's just say, edible sales website. Well, edibles and other things. Totally legal things, I just don't want to get hit with the demonetization. And this includes their brand new vape, which looks pretty nifty. These products that they sell can help you, you know, relax. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Whoa, you're never gonna believe what time it is, man. <laughs> oh God, it's 420, man. I actually really like their product. I spend my own money on it between sponsorship deals. I mean, that's how committed I am. You see, that's Tiggerty. If you're over 18 and interested in trying a legal way to get a bit wild and goofy that won't give you a hangover the next day, go on over to www.vance-global.com and use one of my promo codes at checkout, McFly or McFly30. McFly will give you 20% off any order and McFly30 gives a combined 30% off of initial or renewal subscriptions. If you want more information, go ahead and visit the website. You can read studies, lab results, and more Consume at your own desire. All right, let's get started. You better not have clicked off during that ad read because you're gonna miss out. Into the video. This video will be told in a timeline fashion. The problem that arises with a timeline of Mr. Smoker is that he uploads videos out of order, uploads duplicates over many channels. He's had hundreds of YouTube channels, Daily Motion, and Live League accounts. And a lot of these are gone to time, so he's hard to document. Not only that, Fed Smoker does not exist in the same reality as most of you listeners. Telling a narrative from his point of view is difficult because it is often hard to understand his motivations or reasoning. But someone said that they were making a Fed Smoker movie, and another person wanted to make a Fed Smoker documentary. Neither of those things happened, so I am here to construct the tale of the Smoker of Feds to the best of my ability. Fed Smoker is basically a legend, a myth, and an icon. I hope to do him justice. Hello, all you stupid f***ing Americans out there. How you doing? Let's get started. Introduction to Conald. So who is this Fed Smoker fellow? Well, according to him, he's a retired CIA double agent tasked with the job of taking down dirty cops. You know who you're talking to? <laughs> a retired double agent there, you f***ing retard. Who's lost you're the talking to a man of... that just ruined your f***ing life, okay? But others may see him as a bizarre homeless man who likes to harass the police and business owners. Tell goddamn Uncle Sam this food cards for cigarettes and booze, because hey, hey, hey. it's for me. It's all about me. As mentioned before, Fed Smoker has hundreds of online channels and usernames. Here are his known YouTube accounts, the platform where he uploaded the most to. Bigsby Smoker, Brent Miller, CIA Panetta, 
CNN Corrupt, FBI John Kavanaugh, FBI Smoker, Fed Smoker, Fed Smoker Forever, Fed Smoker Gear, Fed Smoker Herc, Fed Smoker Herc, but not in all caps, Fed Smoker Now, God's News, Grassclaw, Herc Force, she Male Tranny Church, Wilbur Nebraska Werewolf Wilbur News, Chamley Steve, Chief Wes Kuseld, Chief Sellers, Club 69 Thieves, CNN Fed Smoker, Crow Nation, Deme Herc, Estes Park Baby Rape, Fed Smoker, Fed Smokin, Fed Smoker, Fed Smoker, Fed Smoker, Herc Peterson, Herc News, Herkster, Herkster CNN, Herkster, 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 Jeff Sad, Laguna Beach News, Laguna Pigs, Mayor Hanavan, Mayor Pinkham, Officer Sir Leal, Peter Miller, Puke Killer, Ray Fisher, Richard Clark, St. Herkster, Steve Justa, Ward's Fed Smoker, and you Zuck. And there's more. One I found was Rec Omstef Fed Smoker. I'm sure there are even more than that. Early Life Herc was born September 17, 1967, in the state of Nebraska. A lot is not known about his childhood. He had a mother and a father and siblings. I believe he had two brothers, and at one point he did mention a sister, who got married to her DUI lawyer. This is going to be a stepping stone, because my sister happened to marry her DUI lawyer. So you're going to find you a female lawyer and marry the woman, okay? Herc, in videos, claimed he got into his line of work early. What is his line of work? He's a wire man. Please understand he doesn't know who dad is with these wires I carry. I got more wires than their freaking entire force. He wears wires to record people on record to catch them being dirty. He mostly does this with cops, but he didn't start out with wearing wires on police officers. His first smoking job was his father. According to Herc, Herc began wearing wires at nine when he recorded his dad threatening him. Cops out of a badge and taking their badges and I have uh, worked undercover most of my life, mm -hmm. uh, off and on since my teens. And I uh, wore a wire on my own dad when I was nine years old. Police recorded him trying to threaten to kill me and shit like that. So I've had, I got zero tolerance for people trying to be evil around me. I, uh... The validity of this, or any of Herc's claims, is unproven, but this is Herc according to Herc. Apparently at some point, Herc met a man named Steve Justa, the author of Rock Iron Steel, The Book of Strength. Steve Justa was a strong man who could lift cars. The two would become friends for years to come. And according to legends from the bodybuilding forums, Steve had actually written an article on Connell Peterson back in the 90s. It was published in Milo, a magazine dedicated to strength sports, about how Connell would only train with heavy wrist curls so he could efficiently knock people out. I could find no trace of this article, but diving in deeper to the world of Fed Smoker, this tale on the forums is very likely true. Connell worked as an artist, a tattoo artist, among many other trades. In a video posted in 2019, Herc explained that he was living in Key West for a while until he got kicked out by his landlord for partying too hard. Florida, Key West, I was bought out because I was losing it. And too many down there. And my landlord and I, uh, well, he didn't appreciate it, all my parties and shit. He then returned to Nebraska. Come back to Harvard, Nebraska and turn myself in for breaking some guy's jaw. He eventually got out, but something important happened in 2001. Herc was living in Harvard, Nebraska at this time, probably just released from prison. In 2001, the police chief of Harvard, Nebraska, Jeff Sad, was arrested for arson. A short article from April 2001 detailed this by writing, Harvard, Nebraska, the city's police chief was arrested for allegedly planning to burn down several buildings in and around the city. Nebraska State Patrol investigators arrested Jeffrey Sad, 39, on Tuesday after a six-week investigation. A tip to the patrol indicated Sad had tried to solicit someone to commit arson. Sad's bond was set at $10,000. If convicted, he faces up to 20 years in prison and a $25,000 fine. Now, what does that have to do with the subject of this video? Notice the line that a tip was made to the state patrol. Who do you think tipped them? It was Herc, aka Conald Peterson. According to Conald, he was a CIA double agent working with the state patrol. While he was working with the state patrol of Nebraska, he wore wires on Jeff Sad and went in for sting operation. Undercover, Conald got Jeff Sad to try to hire him to burn down some houses. 
the kind of buildings Jeff sent Connell to burn varies depending on who Herc is telling the story to. But according to a 2002 article, it was a few vacant houses and a garage. The case against Sad was dismissed in 2002, according to articles. This was because the confidential informant, aka Connell Peterson, was a convicted felon on probation. This is directly what the article had to say about the dismissal. Sad appeared in court for a preliminary hearing on June 6. During the hearing, Alexander argued that the confidential information used to aid the Nebraska State Patrol in obtaining evidence against Sad should not have been used because the informant was on probation for crimes committed in Florida. In November, Alexander presented a transcript of the preliminary hearing. He said the transcript of the preliminary hearing showed that it was clearly known the confidential informant in the case was on probation for crimes committed in Florida. He quoted a Nebraska state statute that reads, a person placed on probation by a court of the state of Nebraska, an inmate of any jail or correctional or penal facility shall be prohibited from acting as an undercover agent or employee of any state of any law enforcement agency of the state or any political subdivision. Alexander said this meant the confidential informant in the case was not allowed to act in that capacity. Another article from the time went further into this dismissal, writing, Sad was arrested by the Nebraska State Patrol in April 2001. He was accused of paying someone to burn down two unoccupied houses and a garage in or near Harvard. The patrol used a confidential informant as part of its investigation. Defense attorney Richard Alexander of Hastings argued in district court that any evidence provided by the informant was inadmissible because of the informant's past criminal history in another state. So basically, Herc was on probation for crimes he committed in Florida and was not allowed to act as an undercover agent per law. What did Herc do in Florida that got him on probation? I don't know, probably disorderly conduct or something like that. Jeff Sad sent him on a mission. Something about the Jeff Sad case triggered Herc into a lifelong journey. Whether Herc was attempting to smoke feds before Jeff Sad is unknown, but when talking to people, he always brings up the Jeff Sad case as his origin story. Americans, I took Jeffrey Sad down in 2001, April 3rd. Yeah, they were supposed to smoke him on April Fool's Day. They arrested him on April 3rd for burning houses down, kids. Hiring me to burn houses down on Rec Rec. That means I'm one of them tape recorder mabobbers. Not much is known of what happened to Herc between this time and 2005. He might have been living normally at this time, but YouTube did not exist, so he was not filming every moment of his life. But the next point in history came May 4th, 2005. Connell was not the main focus of this, rather a victim. Herc was mentioned in an article posted this day titled, Man Sentenced to At Least 18 Years in Prison for Attempted Murder in GI. GI stands for Grand Island, a city in Nebraska. The article speaks of a town drunk in Hall County, Nebraska, becoming violent and randomly attacking multiple people, including Connell. The man got convicted of attempted murder. Connell was mentioned in this paragraph. Peterson, a tattoo artist, was attacked by Bragg on July 19, 2004, for no reason, Hall County attorney Mark Young said. Many times in Connell's online history, he mentions being a professional tattoo artist. He even tattoos people and has invented his own cordless tattoo machine that works. It is easy to assume that before he became an internet entity, he was actually a successful tattoo artist. At one point, while reminiscing of the time he was an artist, Herc tells a story of owning his own shop. We're good, we've always been. Yeah, I'm gonna just try to try to behave this time around and uh, maybe try to get another life down here someday, you know? I used to have a tattoo shop here, so. YouTube beginnings. Herc eventually made his way to the internet with his first YouTube channel, Jeff Sad. I believe this channel started while Herc was living on the streets of Laguna Beach, California. He of course named the channel after the first fed he smoked. This was started December 2007, making Herc a very early user of YouTube. The first videos to the channel often involved Herc selling his paintings and artwork to randoms on the streets of Laguna Beach. He also filmed other homeless people and drunks. She's always getting drunk. Okay. Guys, start f Guys, tell him the cops on you. Good, good. I can't out. wait. You drink and you're going to jail. Time to go to the drunk tank, slut. Time to go to the drunk tank. And it was all an interesting picture of life as a vagrant in a beach city. On December 25th, Christmas, Herc posted a video of him relaxing on the beach, his home. Merry Christmas to you too, brother. 
but a day after Christmas, Herc started posting videos about busting feds with a video titled, Nebraska State Patrol, Here We Come Re- Mike Sellers. This video shows the start of many themes of Herc's that will play out over his channels for the next 13 years. Herc is playing a recording of him calling someone. Yes, this is Buck Lewis here. He is speaking in a voice very similar to Christian Bale's Batman voice. You know and Buck be available or I can speak to him. He asks for someone named Buck Dewis or Do It. Herc tells the woman that he is Buck's old partner. Uh, is he still working canine unit with the little doggy in the backseat? Yeah, he works a canine. How's it? I can't get at his phone. I Buck's my old partner. I need to speak with him. Me and Buck went after drug dealing fools together. And to leave a message about duct tape strapped to boots? Could you ask Buck if he's got any extra duct tape? I need a duct my boots together. It's very important. The significance of the duct tape is never elaborated on. After some confusing conversation, Herc asks the woman on the phone to think of him while she pleasures herself. The woman is upset by this and the call ends. What are you doing? Are you banging yourself with a magic box or anything like that? Or yourself with a dildo or how's that going? Please don't talk to me like that. Are you following yourself? Please don't talk to me like that. Or catching I want you to start playing with yourself. As if tonight and start thinking about the hurts, then okay. Thank you. As mentioned, this behavior will be very common in Herc's fed smoking career. Not the pleasuring part, but the strange calls to Nebraska State Patrol asking for people. Also recording an audio recorder is a common theme. He continued to post videos, seeming to be drunk over the next two days. There is bullsh**! Can't be letting drugs be dealt on these streets! But on the 26th, Herc made a video to his Jeff Sad channel called FBI John Kavanaugh. Where you at, boy? We need to talk! I believe John Kavanaugh was a special agent for the FBI located in Omaha, Nebraska. Whether Herc had ever spoken to him is unknown, but a lot of his ties to federal agents originate in Nebraska. But it is established in this video that his bike is named Fedsmoker. Give it up for Fed Smoker, you dirty feds! And he plays audio of him calling the FBI, demanding to interrogate John Kavanaugh. Well, no, I know I can speak to him and interrogate him while he's right on the cell phone. I'd like to sit his down and have a talk with him. Man to man, when do you think that could be arranged? Well, I could stare into his beady eyes and have a little talk and see his eyes dilate while I chat with him. Is he still on the FBI? So you're not even answering the questions right. How the hell is he going to answer the questions right at the table? You're not staying square, folks. So when I talk to you and ask you a question, you speak clearly. I want to know my lead. I want to talk with Kavanaugh. A video posted at a later date informs listeners that Herc got this bike by teaching a young man to tattoo. I'm giving Herc Pierce in this bike for teaching me how to tattoo. This bike right here, right? Yeah. Turn that on, kid. Anywhere you touch, it works. Also on this day, he started his channel, Herkster CNN. One thing to note is that according to Joshua Connor Moon, the owner of Kiwi Farms, which is a website dedicated to talking about interesting people online, well, Joshua Connor Moon mentioned that each Fed Smoker channel was its own individual Fed Smoker movie. Uh, is he would make different ones for each, for, I guess for each state he went into, but he more or less saw himself as the main character for for a movie he considered himself like a movie star and he's very performative uh he's crazy he's genuinely crazy he's not like an act but he also in his craziness saw himself as the the main feature of a big movie and so what he would do is he would make different youtube channels for his different movies and the movies would be composed of clips from uh, his interactions with people. I have not heard Herc mention this, but Joshua Moon is a trustworthy source for correct lore for eccentrics on the internet. If each channel was a movie, the Herkster CNN channel was a movie about Herc trying to break a story to the news network CNN. There is a series of videos on this channel posted on December 26th of him calling people, and the theme of these calls is that, according to Herc, he has tried to get a story to CNN, but black people, and he uses the n-word, have been answering the phones and trying to block the story. Why don't you tell me that, you 
Because of this news blockage, Herc would verbally abuse the operators on the phone by calling them N-words and demanding they hang a news on the flagpole. CNN in the past and I begin a bunch of posing as news for the white people. I was wanting to get a news hung up on the flagpole of the White House. Could you do that? I don't know either. He called everyone he could think of about this abuse of the law. He called the FBI, Sheriff's Department, State Patrol, CNN, the White House, etc. These phone call videos were both on the CNN Herkster and the Jeff Sad channel at the end of December. What was Herk's goal for these calls? Well... Hey, I wanna know something. I've been trying to get a story to CNN there, Glenn, and I'm dealing with nothing but black people answering the phone. Well, you need to talk to CNN, not the Sheriff's Department. Now what probably happened for real was that Herc was probably calling these places and confusing the operators. And when these operators said um in a way Herc did not like, he began to call them N-words. You see, Herc is a man who hates people saying, um, or what? He believes this is people on the phone preparing a lie to him. A lie for the cops. And Herc takes down dirty cops for breakfast. As you listeners will see as we progress into the life of Connell Peterson. Apparently Herc was uploading other videos around this time, except a live leak. Live leak is no longer around, and the only remnants of this is from a Kiwi Farms post by user Vlad. Like mentioned, there was a lot of activity from Herc's homeless adventure from this time. A video from December 27th showed Herc on one of his street adventures and how he bothered the citizens of Laguna Beach. In the video, Herc sits with a rambling drunk homeless man that appears in his other Laguna Beach adventures, while Herc yells, Welcome to America at passerbyers. Food establishments are the satanic rights. Welcome to America! The satanic Welcome to Herc's News! Everybody in those establishments that work there are the ones who wrote the satanic book. They're the slayers. Welcome to Herx News. Welcome to Herx News. Welcome to Herx News. Hey ya! Welcome to the world of Herc. Connell would create his third channel, CNN Fed Smoker, on December 27th, 2007. A lot of the videos on these channels involved the homeless life of Herc, where he was talking to other people on the streets. You are your square dance, CNN! Yelling at people on the beach. I am a movie producer. You are my famous girl now. You are twelve and do a bow. You are a movie star now. And getting thrown out of stores for belligerence. What's going on around here? I'm gonna call the corporation. You have their phone number. You can call, call the police. I'll talk to them. You're you're stealing right now. Okay. Okay. See ya, gangbanger. See ya, gangbanger. But a narrative was being crafted in the chaotic world of Fed Smoker. And this narrative started December 29th, 2007, with the channel Chief Sellers. This channel was named after Chief of Laguna Beach and Herc's next target, Chief Sellers. His first video to the channel, Leal, details this new mission he's on. Officer Leal, you dirty fucking bitch. Look what you've done. Look what you've done, you fucking dirty bitch. Now I've made a web page on Chief Mike Sellers, you dirty c At some point, Herc had been in jail. In the video, he talks about how he was attacked in said jail. Mikey, you're just as dirty. You should have let the b come and talk to me about them dirty f at OCC jail. That's why they won't let him talk to me. Check that out, Americans. I was attacked at OCC jail. That fucking c was a witness, weren't you, b and he is mad at Sellers and Leal because apparently three deputies saw Herc get attacked at the OCC jail and Leal had witnessed this attack but was not being honest, whatever that means. That is why Chief Sellers and Leal were being targeted. You gotta stop and smell the flowers, Leal, you dirty c I'm gonna expose your whole, whole system out here. She witnessed OCC jail Americans attacking me. Three deputies from the Sheriff's Department 
That's why the bitch is hiding, isn't it? Leo, that's why all you fuckers keep ending up in my little skits. One thing to note, Herc refers to channels he creates as pages, and in these videos he mentions because of what Leal and Sellers did to him, Sellers gets his own page. Now I've made a web page on Chief Mike Sellers, you dirty c He posted multiple videos to the Chief Sellers page, raging at both Leal and Sellers. We're gonna expose you, Leal, you little b You take it easy, kids. I'm looking for some cops, kids, now. He also started doing one of his repetitive behaviors, posting videos of random nonsense while in the description writing essays about people he's targeted unrelated to the footage. The video, Can you feel your grime, Mike Sellers? It's common. All of it. Posted on December 29th, had a video of Herc filming mannequin boobs while screaming nonsense. Oh, f You got some good ones too, baby! Woo! You gotta get pumped up, though, baby. You're a little shy! Woo! But you like the thighs! Woo! Yeah! Pop up! But the description read, Officer Leo, you're a dirty pig. Now look what I'm doing trashing the chief out because you're involved in some dirty sh**, bitch. You're a dirty cow, Leo. Another repetitive behavior appeared on this day, but to the Jeff Sad channel, Herc films himself rambling about cops, as usual, but then recalls a time he busted Jeff Sad and he shows the news article about Jeff Sad's arrest. I once knew a chief of police Americans that was out fertilizing baseball fields in Harvard, Nebraska. He's out doing all kinds of great things for the community, including burning down houses. Herc will relate everything he does to the Jeff Sad case that was eventually thrown out and not successful anyways. Herc also carries a cutout of the news article about Jeff Sad everywhere he goes, and at some point, he frames it in his car. Herc started a fourth channel on this day as well, Laguna Beach News. A lot of other videos were uploaded on this day, mostly to the Jeff Sad channel, and they involved Herc rambling about Jeff Sad, but one video stood out. This one was called Herc News, where Herc is filming inside a movie theater and introduces us to the crew he has working on his films. He shows the chief editor of his film and goes on a very amusing rant. When you got an editor like mine, you better get some f popcorn and a Coke or a Pepsi and get ready to watch a hell of a movie. You get your ass in there and you buy some candy at the theater. And you make me a goddamn millionaire, you son of a bitch! 2008, Laguna Beach investigation. 2007 ended, and Herc went into 2008 a lot of the same, posting to various channels and trying to smoke Officer Leal and selling. He posted a handful of videos on January 2nd, 2008, talking to the camera as if it were Officer Leal and asking her to come speak with him. We need to talk now. Do you understand me, Leal? You are a witness. But Herc wasn't only trying to improve the town of Laguna Beach through smoking dirty pig. He also was an advocate for keeping the area safe. On the third of the month, Connell posted various videos lamenting on the state of the public park and public restroom. I want to show you how the, the good citizens of Laguna treat their, their tourists. Here's their bathroom system. It looks like somebody over here has got a little carried away and splattered all over the f This is how Laguna Beach treats their people. Doesn't even look like they got any toilet paper. He also calls out alcoholic homeless people for their public intoxication. Truly a man of the people. Hey, we got us some gang riding on the f***ing the thing over here. It needs to be washed off. And you can always find Peggy drunk off her ass, drinking and drinking, drinking, drinking right next to the playground. Drinky, 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 drinky. She don't care, cops. She drinks right here, right next to the kids' playground, so they can watch her be a drunk. Herc even oversaw the cleaning of the bathroom mentioned moments ago, and thanked the worker who cleaned said bathroom. Give it up for George Americans. Give it up for Cowboy. Hey, goddamn Mexican, too. That's right, he's a good brother. That's right. And thank you, George, for cleaning that mess. 
her kind of seemed like a staple of the Laguna Beach Street Society. One of the regulars to appear on the Laguna Beach News Channel was a drunk by the name of Cowboy. Herc would often film him singing, and Cowboy always sang the exact same song. I said, slow down, slow down, let me tell you about what am I do. All my lifetime I lived in your cartoon. I said, time after time, life after life, I said, Give me a good reason, I will take your life, and I say, Lordy, Lordy, let me tell you about one of my two. The early day Herc videos did not have as much smoking of dirty pigs as they do later. It was a nice little view into life on the streets, where Herc flirted with ladies. She's 18 and I'm in love with her, you son of a bitch. Do you understand me? You scooter f and rode his bike around the beach town. But Herc's rebellion against the corrupt system did begin in these early years. On January 5th, 2008, Herc announced in a video on his Chief Sellers channel that his plan to fight injustice involved him filming the women of Laguna Beach's breasts and butts. See, what you've inspired me to do is to zoom in on these hot mamas' asses and boobs because they're the son of a bitch that hire you suckers, and if they can't keep you under control, then I gotta keep them under control and study their asses and boobs and figure out what the fuck makes them tick. Yeah. On the 5th of January, Herc started another channel called Graz Kala. Herc uploaded all the videos to that channel on the same day of creation. The channel mostly consists of Herc's version of flirting with women in Laguna Beach. Yeah, I just wanna do some weird shit to you is all. I wanna make you feel all warm inside after I blow some gum in you. It tickle you. <laughs> and he says some really heinous stuff. Keep your goop pussy clean, okay? But surprisingly, the women take his advances kindly, as Herc, despite being a giant man, is harmless. Kiki, Kiki and her friend bought me these, and they bought me this too. They bought me this. Yes, and you love Herc News. Cause I, I gotta tell you, there's angels in town and you two just got caught as being angels in Laguna Beach. California, cause you know why? You know why? Herc, get us together. Get you know us why? together, Herc. I love Herc. He's Mwah. sexy. He's definitely a little local celebrity. These early videos help get a taste of the world of Herc. There are also a lot of videos on this channel of Herc being annoying in businesses. Did you steal my sh hey. Yeah. All right, brother. I think this guy took my stuff at the library. Hey, you don't need it, bro, so I'm gonna call All right, well, I'm gonna call the cops if I don't find my stuff. I think he stole my drugs. Oh, also some videos involving Herc singing his original songs. One of Herc's most well-known songs was posted to his Jeff Sad channel around this time. It's a song telling Herc's tale as the wire man. Call me just a kid, where are these wires? I'm not for hire, so call me a gigolo. Connell began to attempt to find a job on the 7th of the month. He posted a series of videos to the Chief Seller's channel of him in a Taco Bell speaking to workers. He makes claims he cannot get a job because the Mexicans get all those jobs, but also says he believes the white men are enslaving the employees. So, yeah, dude just wanted a job at Taco Bell. I'm gonna tell you what, Americans! It's not the Latino's fault that I can't work here. No, no, no. It's Uncle Sam. That's right. Uncle Sam. Kirk eventually took his mission against Chief Sellers and Officer Leal further. He began holding a sign against the two in front of the town hall. Mikey boy, is this what you wanted, buddy? Is that what you wanted, Mike? Is that what you wanted, Mikey? Your name's all over the place. I want to do is chat with you, Mikey. See, it says chat, boy. Yeah. That's the nicest cop in town right there. She's actually cool, Mike. Which eventually led him to get a ticket. He filmed the event of the officer That's, taking a sign. I violate my civil rights uh, as an American. And posted it to his chief seller's channel. It. The police have just stole my sign, Americans. Call the cops. Call the goddamn cops. They we are only on January 8th, 2008. On January 8th, he posted a video of him at a town meeting. 
asking to have a conference in order to show his evidence that will put Officer Leal and Sellers away. I need to speak with uh, Mike Sellers and Officer Leal. I have evidence to put them both in jail right now. If you guys could arrange for me to have like a news press conference with them, since you guys do pay them, right? Mayor? You, you, do, you do pay them, right? Well, I want to know, you do pay them, right? I want to talk to your chief since I got a history of putting chiefs in jail, okay, already. I've got the kids to put him away and Officer Leo right now, okay? The council denies him this conference and denies to get him an audience with the officers. I want to speak with Mike Sellers and I want to sit down and have a long talk with him for about an hour. And when I'm done, I want the feds to put him in prison with uh, Leo, Officer Leo, okay? Can you do that? Can you do that? You can't do that, huh? When he was rejected, Herc began to threaten the council board, saying he was going to make the town change because they were running out artists by letting corporate run out the little guys. Kenneth Frank, you're next, buddy, for mafia tactics on Michael Avery's artwork, okay? You guys have been pushing out real artists, okay? Kenneth, you, under you listening there, Kenneth? Whatever you pulled on Michael Avery there, the guy don't even paint down down anymore because the big money shut the little guys down. I'm going to tell you guys something. There's going to be some rules changing all of you people because I am geared up, okay? You understand me? Herc posted more videos from the meeting. These videos involved him calling various council members dirty. This is like these pretty good Americans. The lady next to her, she's dirty. This guy's all right. Not yet registered to go this lady's all right. She's all right. She's all right. This lady here, one turning away, she's dirty. I think you can. Kenneth's dirty Americans. Look at him. The abrasiveness of Herc towards the members is pretty comedic. They are obviously annoyed, but Herc soldiers on in his mission to take down dirty pigs. He also says one of his catchphrases for the first time at this meeting. He will repeat this often throughout his many years of activity. The rules are, kids, when the bike's blinking, you best not be stinking, because we'll be putting you in prison forever. Years and years and years and years. On January 10th, 2008, Herc would open another channel entitled CNN Corrupt. Another Hercism should be noted. That is, Herc referring to those who help him as angels. But the angel look is still very popular, Americans. On the left, blonde, white shirt. You heard it, Herc News, that's an angel. He tends to speak of the common appearance of the color white in relation to God as well, often referring to people wearing white as angels. He also refers to white cars as chariots. The importance of these white chariots will grow over the years. On the 14th of January, he started a new channel, God's News. One of the first videos posted to that channel involved Herc thanking one of his angels for help. There are angels in town. What's your name again, brother? My name is David. David what? O'Brien. O'Brien? Just come up and threw me that. You are an angel, brother. God bless you, brother. God bless you, too. Thank you very much. Give me some knuckle, brother. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. January 17th, 2008, a layer of the onion that is Connell Peterson was peeled back. He posted a video to his Jeff Sad channel filming a house saying he used to live there before he decided to take his bike on the road to smoke feds. Americans, Big Daddy gave up that gray house up there on the hill right there. Take this bike around the country and smoke you dirty pigs out there. Cause there's a lot more pigs to be smoked. Jeffrey Sad, all you suckers out there that think you're bad on record, you're gonna get a camera stuffed in your fucking face. And you're gonna be trashed if that's what you need to be. Whether Herc ever owned that house is unknown. But if it is true, at one point he had a home and something had caused him to hold onto delusion and lose his living stability. Herc began to post videos about his new target, specifically on his Jeff Sad channel. This is the 17th of the month. This was Officer Bigsby. According to Conald, he had caught Bigsby kissing his old neighbor, Richard. Bigsby, tell the world, Bigsby, why you really hate old dad. I saw you kissing Richard. Richard from the grocery store mobile. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's why you don't like me, huh, Bigsby? And I want to note, apparently Richard stole cable, because Connell has to point that out, and it's important to him for some reason. These f***ers right in front of Richard. And it's right up there, my old neighbor's stealing cable, Americans, for 20 years. So, because Herc caught Bigsby being gay, Bigsby has decided to turn against Herc. He posted a video titled, Herkster. Officer Bigsby took the bait kids. He's a dirty pig. The video consisted of Herc talking to a kid. The kid says, Bigsby had called his parents to tell them that he should not hang around Herc anymore. Told him that you were a bad guy, Herc. Told, <laughs> told him I was a bad guy? And what else? And that they're probably gonna try to bust you if you come around. Just coming here, and how long have I been coming here for about a year, huh? Well, I've known you for like what? Four years, almost oh, four years now. And we've got nothing but have fun, chase pussy, huh? <laughs> the description of the video also revealed more details of a conspiracy Herc was uncovering, which read, Herc News, I knew if I posted that I bath at the Riviera, Bixby would pull this bush. Mike Sellers is a puke. Kids officer Bixby is mad because I seen him kissing Richard, the old man that works at Mobile Gas Station in Laguna Beach. Officer Bixby, you should tell your wife what you're doing at that station, freak. And Richard stealing cable from Fox Cable Kids. He gets away with it because Officer Bixby dates Richard from Mobile. He stole cable for over 20 years. Bixby, why are you letting that boy steal cable? Go give him a big old kiss, Bixby. You Laguna Beach kids No, I tell it like it is. And this guy knew they'd bother his folks. Bixby, I'm suing you, prick. Herc created two new channels on January 18th titled You Zuck and Bigsby Smoker. He started posting immediately to both channels about Bigsby, revealing in one video, Bigsby ruined the place Herc would shower. Ruin my f***ing little place to take a shower? No, I don't think so. That's my friend, sucker from the Riviera, boy. Yeah, yeah, Bigsby. He posted a lot of videos trying to intimidate Bigsby on the 18th over all of his channels. A fair chunk of these Bigsby-focused videos were posted to his Herkster CNN channel, and all these videos were titled Herkster CNN. That is a very common habit of Herk in the early years, posting a bunch of videos with the same title, often just the title of the channel he is posting to. Between posting videos to go after Bigsby, Herk also uploaded a series of videos to his USUC channel over the next few days of him and his friend Daithy going on an adventure to the city. He posted a video on the 18th where he is saying goodbye to Laguna Beach. His sayonara to Laguna Beach here seems to be only temporary as he and Davey visit the city. Herc will eventually venture out of Laguna Beach permanently, but it seemed that either this goodbye was only for his temporary visit to the city or he had more videos to upload of his adventures in Laguna Beach after his exit because on January 22nd, he started another new channel called Laguna Pigs with a Z. This channel had an arc where it was Connell versus a Starbucks. Basically, Starbucks had kicked him out from sleeping next to the store, so he started to protest Starbucks. Anybody supporting Starbucks is going to end up on the internet now. Because they're trying to set me up, Americans, and when you try to do business like that, get ready to be exposed. Hi. These guys keep calling the cops on me for asking for food. Herc goes between somewhat lucid but fun homeless loon and horrifyingly offensive, depending on the day. Though, he's always harmless so far, except to phone operators. Herc posted a lot of videos on the 24th of January to his Officer Leal channel, some videos reaching over 1,000 views, which is decent views for some random schizophrenics uploads from 2008. Is that possible? No, What's up when I call you guys, you start stalling out the line and acting like retarded Some get a little sick of that shit. Herc's uploads would disappear for the next few months. It is most likely due to Herc traveling from Laguna Beach and not having access to the internet. That or he was arrested or ran into trouble with the law. It could have been anything. I believe he traveled to another city in California at this time. Herc resurfaced in April and created two more channels at the end of the month, Club 69 Thieves and FBI John Cavanaugh. The description of the Club 69 Thieves channel read, Grand Island Nicky Boy's a thief, kids. Jay's gonna really put you out of a bar now, punk. To all you Nebraskans, Nicky Boy's a thief. Rosie's going on the net. Nick, if I don't get my movie back, Nick, you need your teeth knocked out. Punk, see you soon. Nick, soon as I get my chips, I'll take it all down. You wanna f around, though, with my movie. So you'll become the movie. Rosie's going on the net, punk. I already screwed your mother, Nick. Fifteen years ago, I f your mother, Rosie, Nick. Rosie has a nice pussy, Nick. Don't be a thief. This can still have a happy ending, Nick. 
Email me club.69 at yahoo.com. Nick, you're a thief. The tank's going to ruin your life. You need to give the Herkster his movie back, punk. Nick's working for the cops. And the John Cavanaugh channel's description read, John, it's time to be exposed, c- You should have come to the phone, b****. How do you like me now? It's time to play hardball. I'm going to expose your entire team on the net c- as being dirty FBI c- Obama needs to clean Whitey's ass up a little. Whitey's been lying for just a bit too long. Fuck the FBI. I'll go to the table with a thousand of you dirty c-ts. Let's go, b****. It's time. The Nebraska State Patrol stole records, America, and the FBI covered it up, right, Johnny boy? It's time to expose the FBI in the Nebraska State Patrol. You just can't go around thieving Johnny boy. On the 28th of April, he uploaded a video to the FBI John Cavanaugh channel of him answering his phone and then being convinced it was the FBI prank calling him. You know the prank call, Americans. Check it out. Hello? Are you prank calling me, FBI, now? You don't like my sign, huh? It's right in front of the courthouse. Yeah, it's going to be here for a couple years. It's going to be here for a couple years, okay? Bye-bye. Things began to change in Herc's content with a change in location. He began to confront more cops on camera, or on record, as Herc likes to call it. He started accusing cops of destroying his evidence against them. On April 28th, he posted a video talking to several officers, who are obviously uncomfortable, accusing another officer of hurting his bike and dropping his camera and threatening him. Push my bike over, can I show you him pushing my bike over? He said he was FBI and he dropped my camera on purpose. And he said he's gonna kick my on record with the tape recorder. He reminds these officers he's a celebrity smoker. I want to know who to turn this guy in for breaking my camera. I put a chief of police in jail already for burning houses. You guys are messing with a celebrity smoker. Look up Jeff Sad on the internet because that's where that guy's future's going to hell. He later reveals that the cop who dropped his camera and pushed his bike over was of Hispanic descent. He drops my camera, then coerces a witness to say I dropped my camera after he dropped it on purpose. Yeah, that's another beaner cop. Says he's FBI. Remember Steve Justa, the bodybuilder who wrote an article on Herc? Well, on May 14th, 2008, Herc uploaded a video of him talking to Steve in a car about how someone had stolen his memory chips and his movie. With author Steve Justa, Harvard. Steve, what do you think? He was with me. That's the only place it could be. He stole them, right? That's the only place that tapes could be. He stole my f***ing, uh, my f***ing memory chips of my entire movie, The 69 Club, Grand Island Americans. I used to bounce this dump. Things were getting slow, but Herc popped up again around June 18th, 2008, with another new channel entitled Gene Peterson. This channel is gone from YouTube, terminated. But thanks to Alessi Warrior on Kiwi Farms, the videos were archived. And the videos on this channel show a mark of a new paranoia from Herc. Herc believes the cops are trying to stop him from his fed smoking ways. And one way he believes this is done is by stopping him from accessing Wi Fi. Your Wi Fi is not working at, at uh, Denny's here, folks. Herc posted a series of videos accusing a Denny's of turning off the Wi Fi to stop his investigation. Oh, he's not working at Denny's, Americans. I want to give these guys a baby paper stamp right on their f***ing face. I do not know if he was in Laguna Beach at this time. He was more likely in the Midwest, specifically Colorado, as in another video from this channel mentions Cortez, Colorado. But back to the Denny's. He believes the Denny's is dirty, and he starts baby raper stamping the Denny's employees. What is baby raper stamping? Well, Herc's way of exposing cops is by baby raper stamping them. What he does is if someone is dirty, he films them and then later takes their image and puts the word baby raper over their image and posts them online. This is Herc's work. A lot of the beginning of this video you are currently watching is laying out the origins of Conald Peterson Fed Smoker, but it is also establishing behaviors that define Herc and what will be repeating factors in his mission from God to smoke dirty pigs across America. And one of the videos posted to this new channel shows a few key points in Herc's journey. In one video, Herc shows a car. I am unsure if it is his car because he continues to ride a bike for the upcoming time, but the type of car is important. It's a Crown Vic, a police car, or an ex-police car. Remember that. Another important trait displayed in this particular video is Herc's obsession with the color white. 
Herc has an infatuation with the color white. His obsession with white manifests more and more over the years, and this video shows the beginnings of that. Herc believes that white cars are a sign from God. He believes them to be white chariots from Jesus himself, sent to him to either give him support or show him the way to go. This pattern begins in this video from June 18, 2008. I'm going to show you how weak you are. After the red flash, the white. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how pussy he is. Put your lives together. Council Bluffs. Herc would post another series of videos in July to his now terminated Herc Force channel. These videos took place in Council Bluffs, Iowa, where his mother was living. It seems Herc had traveled from Colorado to Council Bluffs to film his adventures. In these videos, he shows a variety of his Council Bluffs adventures. He made phone calls, he filmed himself yelling at buildings, he made a spectacle of himself in stores, and he did some tattooing. While he was visiting his family in Iowa, Connell got arrested. An article from July 20th, 2008 tells of this arrest, writing, Title, YouTube video lands CB man in jail. A Council Bluff man is in jail after his YouTube video got him in trouble. According to a Council Bluffs Police Department report, Connell Peterson, 40, screamed a profane and derogatory comment to a female Pottawatomie County janitorial employee as she worked outside on January 15th. Peterson allegedly taped the incident and posted it on YouTube, the report indicated. He was arrested on the charge of disorderly conduct and disobedience to a police officer and taken to the Pottawatomie County Jail, where a magistrate set bail at $1,000, according to the report. He was eventually released, and he immediately started uploading videos accusing cops of mistreatment in jail. This is July 21st, 2008. On this date, he posted videos of him playing a recording, a recording that one could presume is audio of him being arrested. Herc believed that these recordings proved that he was mistreated, but they merely contained police officers trying to be calm with him as he behaved belligerently. August came, and Herc was posting videos accusing cops of crimes that are hard to understand out of context, and sans a schizophrenia diagnosis. But on August 19th, Herc created another YouTube channel called Peta Miller. This channel was to focus on Lieutenant Miller. This was the description of the channel. Peta Miller's been playing with little boys, wee wees, right, Lieutenant Miller? You're going to prison, her. I'm taking it my power to expose you, you council bluffs, white trash motherfucker. I'd like to slap the fuck piss out of you, Lieutenant Miller, going to prison for r kids. He rapes little boys. He fucked his neighbor, eight years of age. Take a good look at the motherfucker. Miller, you think you're fucking around with the law? You're going to be feeling pretty stupid from here on out in the law. Watch and see, internal punk. All 27 videos on this channel were posted in the next three days. None have any audio, but seem to be detailing Herc's adventures in Council Bluffs with women. The videos, however, were titled in ways that conveyed that Herc was trying to prove that Lieutenant Miller was a kid diddler. One of the last videos uploaded to this channel was titled, Americans, this man is a registered pedophile right across the street from a daycare in Council Bluffs. Lieutenant Miller don't mind because he's f***ing his neighbor eight years of age. Right, Miller boy? Meet Tommy Americans. The video for this title consisted of no audio and just footage of some resident of the town, but a look into the mind of Herc. This is what the description of the video read. Herc News exposes these pedophiles. Seems like every day. The Council Bluffs is a great city, Americans. It just seems like that meth has ruined all the locals in one way or another. Almost every woman I like out here is on the or f***ing around making the sh Look at Creepy Tommy. I seen him pretending to zip his niece's zipper up and taking his time doing it while the mother was in the house. This f needs to go to prison again. He has no right to even pat a child on the back, let alone zip a little girl's pants up, not to mention, I don't even think the little girl's pants needed to be zipped. Social services best get in there. August 21st, 08, this f is done. The little girl's parents were already in trouble for having their kids around this man. He's still touching them. Herc would post more videos in September to his now defunct Herc Force channel. The videos took place in Council Bluffs. The adventures here mostly did not add to the Herc narrative, but he did spend some time making anti-drug videos. He thinks meth is bad. People who stumble upon the adventures of Herc often think he's a burnt out meth head or crackhead. The lost Herc Force channel was very similar to the adventures in Laguna Beach, but this time in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Herc, during this time, was very coherent for Herc. 
He was obviously a wild guy, but he was more like a functioning member of society with a quirky personality traveling the land. He could have been a movie character. The videos posted over this period of time to this channel really are interesting and almost cinematic. This strange guy on the road living day to day. He eventually left Council Bluffs on a Greyhound, and that goes a bit sideways. Herc's bike, the original Fed Smoker, gets lost on the trip. He makes it to his new location and starts filming the beautiful sky. These are some pretty tricky f skies out here, kids. Pretty tricky. Let's go see if we can see down. It kind of looks like a beach town. So kids, let's hope Obama raises these little kids a little better this time around so we don't have to put cops in prison for burning houses down like Jeffrey said. While Herc travels, he oftentimes relies on the help of strangers. And in these videos posted in September 2008, Herc reveals he frequents soup kitchens for charity. And he's quite a player at these soup kitchens. This is the woman I'm going to marry in Vegas, kids. <laughs> Within a year, we're going to be married, playing in the casinos. Yeah, Herc news. Herc continued to post his travels of the country to this channel and spoke of his family for us to learn more of. In one video, while he cycles by a river, he speaks of his mom. Is that guy saying Americans earlier? Sometimes I tell you I'm the biggest mama's boy in the world. My mom uh, means everything to me. She gave me all my strength. In another video, he mentioned an important name for further plot lines, Leo Berez. Remember that name. The uploads on this particular channel have Herc traveling from Colorado to New Mexico. The archiver on the Kiwi Farms did their best to organize this Herc Force saga by general dates and events, but nothing seems to be quite in order. One important term I haven't brought up about Herc yet is that he refers to women by the word Twinkie. Twinkie refers to the vagina more specifically, but Herc will call women as a whole Twinkies. He filmed a series of videos featuring Twinkies in his October adventures to the Herc Force channel. This included him telling romantic prospects how the cops plant weed on him to try to arrest him. He also tried to ask a Twinkie to marry him. But more interesting from these uploads, sometime around October, Herc uploaded a series of videos for his mother, who is living in Council Bluffs, Iowa. He shot a bunch of videos speaking on how he's a mama's boy and how dearly he holds his mother in his heart. If one were to make an educated guess on why Herc can no longer be in Iowa with his mother, it's probably that there was a warrant for his arrest and he was fleeing. Herc seems to party a lot during this time. At one point, Herc seems to be in a house hosting a party where he talks to one of the guests at said party. This evolves into a series of videos that kind of tell you why Herc traveled to New Mexico. Herc went to New Mexico to help a man named Josh. Herc posted a series of videos that look like a house party. He must have been staying with these people. Herc films a man at the party who speaks to the camera about hearing voices and being suicidal. Herc seems to be acting as this man's therapist, who claims he's messed up his mind from doing too many hallucinogens. Now you may have guessed this, this man is Josh. Josh possibly has schizophrenia. Herc cured him though. Throw it up there, brother. Throw them f***ing voices out of your head. Tell them to get the f*** out there. Down, now hold that candle up in the sky, brother, and burn them voices, brother. Burn those f***ing voices. Burn them. Burn them. Burn, 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 burn Get rid of them. Tell them to get the f*** out of your head. Down here, motherfucker. You got it now, brother. Throw it up there and mean it. Get that shit out of your head. Now, you're never gonna hear voices again, brother, because I said. Herc didn't just help out poor Josh, he also partied with the people in the house. <laughs> yeah, I'm so liar. Okay. You got fired up. <laughs> what is interesting is how Connell introduces all of his friends at some point. You're with some of the most craziest bad you've ever seen in your life here. These people have tried to kill themselves most, not only once, but multiple times, sometimes daily on pills. This was pretty telling of the sort of people Herc rode with. They weren't your regular people who work nine to fives. 
It's a bunch of people living outside of formal society. The party got pretty wild if Herc's uploads are anything to judge by. The Herkster don't drink, kids, usually. But tonight, I'm gonna hammer down. Now you may be wondering how Conald was able to upload his content while he was traveling cross country in the year 2008. In a video titled DSCI940, posted to the Herc Force channel sometime in October, Herc is in a library thanking them for their internet access. I'm really gonna miss y'all and I wanna thank you for helping me load Herc news on the internet. I'm sorry if I was rude to you at all. I think you're one of the nicest ladies. Wish me luck on my next dirty cop I smoke, okay, kids? And I'm gonna miss this place. Americans, these people have helped Herc News. Don't you forget it. El Paso investigation. November finds Herc in El Paso. He announces this on a video from November 1st, 2008. Okay, kids, November 1st, 2008. What is Herc doing in El Paso? He's trying to expose a new cop, this time Officer Downs. And what is the reason he's exposing Officer Downs? We're still looking for Downs. What I'm gonna do with him is just expose him as being a dumb motherfucker. Yeah! But the rest of the videos uploaded through the end of 2008 generally depict a man on an adventure. Well, a man who sees the world in a different way than reality on an adventure. Editor, or good, am I a news man? Am I good news? I just want to keep putting cops in jail and tattooing people and meeting hot babes all over the country. Now, although Herc seemed more coherent in these videos, I mean, he was able to have a conversation that had a logical back and forth, I'll bet a bit weird, there was still a good deal of videos where Herc word salads. Pretty soon, Bush will have his terrorists come over here and irritate me and they go, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing, Gorbachev? Lovers? Huh? If you don't know what a word salad is, it is by definition a confused or unintelligible mixture of seemingly random words and phrases, specifically in psychiatry as a form of speech indicative of advanced schizophrenia. He also began to speak more politically. It seemed the presidential election was approaching and he began to rant about the current president, Bush, as well as Obama. It almost said Gore W. Bush. That should have been our president actually until they falsified the election. That's what they're gonna do with Obama. They're gonna probably give it to Cheney so he can put some more of this shit around the country. And by political, I mean Herc was beginning to make accusations about people in power, as usual. Now, George, I know you and your terrorists work at night mostly, and that's when your boys will come in and irritate me. But my recorder still blink at night, boy. And these accusations were strange. Uh, you definitely document Edward uh, Martinez is the one that uh, touched my arm, pushed my arm anyways. He, he shoved it over like this and I took it right up like that. He, you're, you're saying that he said that he didn't touch my arm? Yeah, we're done. You said you want to take a picture. Okay, okay. Well, well anyways, uh, he, he did say that though, that he didn't touch me for the record. Thank you, bro. Herc was beginning to pick up his fed smoking more as the uploads continued. I didn't think you were doing right, like Archer, you can bet Archer's going to have his own web page now on YouTube, and Archer's going to be just a chilling on himself, dirty as f**k, his eyes are going to be hiding behind this door, saying that he don't want to commit to, uh, to uh, what's his name again, Martinez, he's going to say he don't want to commit to Martinez saying he didn't touch my arm, you know why? Because he was filling in the blank spots and he knew he'd be lying his ass off, okay? He was investigating an officer Downs, but he was on the hunt for someone else to expose. The videos were getting more and more accusatory. See how it isn't nice, kid? It isn't nice to touch my fucking hand. Do you understand how many cops are gonna get fucked in this town because of that? Do you? You better think twice, because I'm not gonna be nice. And he became more obsessed with recording everything. Give old dad a dirty look. Not nice to look at old dad dirty Americans because I'm the guy that does the investigations. I'm the guy with the wire. Do you understand me? I'm the guy that wears these motherfuckers. You understand that kids? 
When that fucking light is blinking, it best not be stinking. And began to really focus and obsess about really specific details. You see, when a cop in a town inconveniences Herc in any way, he would investigate the whole town. In El Paso, he began to see enemies and suspicious activity wherever he went. Dude, Americans, did you see that guy just pump up on me right there? He's a Spanish guy too, kids. He you knows it's for the state patrol, kids. See that guy behind him? They're all Mexicans, kids, on top of that. We already seen how Mexicans fucking work. Santa Monica. The El Paso investigation never was resolved. It just kind of ended. Herc eventually returned to California, specifically Santa Monica, for Christmas. He spent a good deal of his time with the Twinkies over in Santa Monica. Herc was ending the year preparing for his new adventure, and he continued to keep his mom in mind. I love you, Mom. Wish you were out here with me in a way you really are. Hey, stop that stop. Venice Beach. The next place he stopped was Venice Beach, which is actually a walkable distance from Santa Monica, and we got to enjoy some street performers. We also got some videos of Herc's freelance tattooing. For example, during this November of California 2008, he filmed himself giving a woman a tattoo, naked. Herc's tattoo parlor in the pier again, kids. And even though Herc is probably a hassle if you have to deal with him at your job, it's hard not to find the guy's antics amusing. Once again, we're at Jack in the Box, one of my other favorite places to eat kids besides McDonald's. Yeah. Archer and Martinez. But during this time, he did start an investigation. You see, he did have some altercations with officers Archer and Martinez. What are you doing touching my hand, brother? Do you know who I am? I'm Herc News, brother. I can photograph anybody I want. It's a public place, right? No, it's private property. It's private oh, it's property. private property? Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. You shouldn't touch my hand, though. Americans, I worked for the state patrol 22 years, and that moron f me. He's gonna lose his f job. If he touched me a little harder, I'd have knocked him out, kids. Yeah, that's right, I would have. Because of this Archer and Martinez run in, Perk decided he was going to get revenge on them. I'm a professional, and I think you are too. Those two jerks are. I think they did a good job, but they come up pumping up too. The monotones and shit like that, their monotones were very threatening. I think Uncle Sam needs to give him a little kick out the door, right out the <laughs> right up the out the door. Going to police stations to complain about small altercations with cops is kind of Herc's hobby. It's how he tests the cops. But even though the encounter was most likely a nothing burger, Herc turned it into a serious accusation about these cops. There was no conclusion to this investigation, but all in all, 2008 was fun and chaotic. Was Herc doing this stuff before 2007 to 2008? Probably, but it's not on the internet. But what is on the internet is such wonderful clips such as this. See, you try to be nice. You try to be nice, kids. And all hell, everything goes to hell, it seems. Florida. So in 2008, Herc got into some less than pleasant encounters with police and law enforcement. Not doing too good, kids. Give old dad a dirty look. And made a lot of accusations about them. And sometime between the end of 2008 and the beginning of 2009, Herc made his way to Florida and got arrested. And to be honest, 2009 was silent after this. And that is because on January 23rd, 2009, he was sentenced to one year, six months in prison for aggressive battery with a deadly weapon attempted. Herc was in custody from February 11th, 2009 to October 23rd, 2009. Maybe he was on medication or getting treatment after this because he did not resurface online till March 2010. Next time on The Legend of Fed Smoker. I'm working on motherfuckers in nursing homes mistreating my mother, buddy. Oh, where's your mom at? She's in Iowa. The Legend of Fed Smoker, Episode 2, Mother. And now, that is the end. 
I'd like to thank my patrons listed here. If you like this series or any of my content or enjoy content about weird internet stories, please consider becoming a patron or at least subscribing. I only charge when I release content, so you'll never be charged more than once a month and often only like five times a year max. And while those credits are rolling, I'd like to introduce you guys to my new merch. I worked with the artist Five Star Days to create this merch. I'll link his socials in the description, but I've always wanted to make this shirt. I've drawn up other pictures before. I don't know if you guys ever noticed, I end like all of my videos with Suffer Lightly, which was me misinterpreting the lyrics of the opening song of the anime Death Parade. It's in Japanese, but I thought they said Suffer Lightly at one point in English, and I thought it was a great catchphrase. Looked it up, wasn't part of the lyrics, so I took it for myself. At least I hope it's not in the lyrics. Maybe I read it wrong. I don't know. Anyways, so I have these scary, creepy, suffer lightly shirts. You can click my store in the description to purchase one. This little character on the shirt is my Cecil avatar as a Cenobite from the series Hellraiser. The Cecil bite, if you will. I just love body horror. So yeah. Oh, and a special shout out to Gas Mask Avenger for helping me edit that intro. His social media is linked below. Here are my $20 and over patrons. Thank you guys so much. And that's the end. See you for the next episode. And suffer lightly.